Yes. You say hi. Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Hi. It's Taryn and today someone wanted to be Cheers. a special guest. Cheers. <laughs> You're so cute. Can you come back here and sit by mama? They want to be able to see both of us. Ah. Leave it there. Thank you. Oh, we got to leave it. Come on. Put it right here and then come back here and sit with mama and they can see us both. Look. They can see Ayla and Mama. Okay, so today's video, you can probably tell by the title, is going to be my 16 to 20 week bump date. So today I'm actually 21 weeks and one day videoing this. So I'm a little bit behind, but we've had a lot going on. Um, what I am going to do is try to not accidentally slip up with the gender because those videos should be coming soon. So we should have a gender reveal video coming and a 20 week hospital <laughs> appointment video coming very soon. And you guys, what are you doing? Put it back. <laughs> Sorry guys. And I want, I want you guys to be able to be surprised with the gender. So we're gonna try to keep that under wraps so whether it's gonna be a little girl or a little boy. <laughs> So basically, I'm just going to go through like what, how I'm feeling and the symptoms I've had. Um, so basically, um, we are doing pretty good. I'm feeling pretty good. I'm into that second trimester where I'm almost um, feeling good to go. Like I'm still pretty exhausted and tired. There is some... Stop trying to grab it. Stop trying to grab it. Stop trying to grab it. <laughs> <laughs> um, my biggest complaint is the pregnancy insomnia. I've had pregnancy insomnia pretty bad where I can barely sleep most nights or I'm up for like a few hours. Oh. Or I'm up for like a few hours trying to settle myself before, um, go play, go play, go play, go play with your, find a rock. Can you go find a rock? So sometimes I'm sitting up for like three hours before I finally will fall asleep. And some nights it's kind of like a consistent, like basically I'm just like laying there all night long and I wake up and feel like I've never went to sleep. Are you there? Alex, <laughs> this is our ring camera and my husband might be on there watching us. That's kind of creepy. Anyway. Um, the pregnancy insomnia and then I'm also dealing with some like pretty bad back pains that I've been going through. Um, it's kind of consistent like throughout the day, especially if I do a lot of like housework, lifting things, sweeping, standing up and doing dishes for a long time makes my back hurt, which I've had back problems previously before pregnancy, but <laughs> um, they've kind of progressed now since I've been into my, since I've been into my second trimester. And let me think, what else? I basically, craving wise, it's kind of still really random. Not like one specific thing. I'm sorry guys, this is the craziest video I think I've ever filmed because she just doesn't want to leave the phone alone. She doesn't want to leave the phone alone. Do, 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 do. Do, do, do. <laughs> hey, just lay right here and watch. Okay, and of course, big sisters are very, getting very, very excited to have a new baby. Are you so excited to have a new baby? Uh -huh. You are? Has mama got a baby in her belly? Hello. You're up here. And um, so they're all getting really excited for that portion of it and bringing a baby home. We are <laughs> completely out of any kind of like the sickness stage, thankfully. Um, I haven't had really any problems. I know that some doctors do it at different times, but I, hey, but I did want to update that my doctor, that my doctor doesn't do the, um, glucose testing until you're like between 30 and 32 weeks. So we have not done that yet. We had our anatomy, anatomy scan and everything looked fine. Baby is um, measuring 
what do you say nine ounces nine ounces right now which I don't remember them telling me how much Ayla weighed at my 20 week appointment so I don't know what that is relative to like normal like pregnancy or normal baby weight so nine ounces it seems small to me but um they said that's pretty average so I guess that's good um all the like body parts everything looked good no um no problems with anything and we are so thankful for that um since it's covid stuff's going on we do have to wear masks in our appointments and they did allow my husband to come in just for the ultrasound portion of the appointment and then he had to go back out and sit in the car while I actually met with the doctor so I was the only one allowed into like the, the doctor's appointment part but he was able to go into the ultrasound part and they did tell us that technically they weren't supposed to allow him in but they've kind of been breaking the rules because that's such an important time for like husbands and wives to both be able to be there finding out gender making sure the anatomy is all good so I'm thankful that they did let him come in for that um Basically, life is normal right now. We're talking about since I'm traveling um, to a different state to deliver, which I think if you've been watching my videos, you would know that. But we live in Colorado. I'm delivering in Kansas where our families and we are both from. Um, so we are traveling back and forth for my appointments and things. And starting like sometime in July, we're going to have um, our appointments go to every two weeks. So sometime around there, I'm going to start staying in Kansas for the majority of the time so that we're not driving back so so much and then Alex will just come on like weekends and stuff and visit us whenever he is available and um then of course we'll we'll see about when the baby's going to be born we're probably at this point planning to schedule a scheduled c-section since he will be in one state I will be in another um that's going to be the best for our family since I've already had a c-section one time it kind of um Basically, the chances they've given me to be able to progress and have a vaginal VBAC, a vaginal delivery after C-section on my own, are not very high. They don't think that it's that likely. They would allow me to try if I wanted to, but um, I may for, if we have another baby after this, I may try that. But this time, I think I'm going to opt for just a scheduled C-section just to reduce the sense of... I guess uncertainty and things like that we can plan everything out know exactly when things are going to happen and we won't have to worry about anyone missing anything um and we can have everything planned so that seems more convenient and realistic to me for this specific delivery and oh, i don't know what else i feel like i've told you guys pretty much everything there's not a lot that's changed Jeez, <laughs> there's not a lot that's changed in these last couple weeks other than that we know the gender now um and i'm excited to announce that to you guys but i want to wait until you guys get to see the official gender reveal um video we found out right at our um, anatomy skin which was right about 18 weeks so actually that's kind of a lie we didn't find out but we got it in an envelope and then we gave that envelope to alex's best friend turban and he was able to text the results to one of my friends so it's kind of like a chain and one of my friends made us some shirts and those shirts had revealed the gender so then on um, our virtual gender reveal party that we had we opened up our shirts and showed everybody the little uh designs on them and that told everyone what the gender was. So you guys will get to see that. I'm gonna try to throw that video together fairly soon so it's up shortly. Um, but other than that, I'm trying to think like cravings that have been different. It's still like chicken wings on occasion, pickles on occasion, chocolate. I always want chocolate, but I did have a really bad craving for chocolate a couple days ago. And Alex went to the store and got me some, so I'm so thankful for that. He uh, He's not usually that type to like, Oh, you're having a craving? Let me go grab something. But um, he was going to this store, so he ended up picking up some chocolate for me. Um, what else have I been craving? Not that much, I feel like. It's kind of just been, like, just chilling, doing the normal normal routine. This little crazy one over here, this toddler's keeping me uh, extra busy and um, extra worn out by the end of the day. Um, but, yeah, I think that's it. So... If you guys have any questions on how I'm feeling, how I'm doing, um, that I didn't address now, feel free to leave those in the comments down below. Give this video a thumbs up. 
and subscribe to join our family. We'd love to have you coming along. There's so much more exciting content coming and um, I will be sure to keep you guys updated when things change. There may be some crazy updates coming in the future that you may not want to miss. So make sure you subscribe so that you are being like alerted when new things are happening in our lives. Um, we appreciate you guys stopping by and clicking on this video and we'll see you in the next one. Bye.